Why do people watch VTubers? No small amount of digital ink has been spilled over the last few years asking and answering this very question. We've had VTuber enthusiasts, VTubers themselves, the uninitiated masses, and even those who have taken a very dim view of the medium pour into social media over the last few years, making their voices heard. So really, at this point, at the tail end of 2023, what could a new voice possibly add to the conversation? Well, recently, a VTuber named Iron Mouse took home the award for Content Creator of the Year at the Video Game Awards. This made some people very upset and some people very happy, but it also showed that even this far, past what has become known as the, quote, VTuber boom, there are still a large number of people unsure about VTubers. I believe that this shows that there is still work to be done on the outreach front. And moreover, I find that it shows that much of the outreach already done has failed to cause an impression in the target audience. So I'd like to use this chance to reach out to that group specifically, those that are still confused or unsure about the concept altogether, and who have failed to find any personal resonance with the medium. First of all, I would like to address the elephant in the room. Obviously, I'm a VTuber myself. Hi, guys. So all this is likely to come off a bit self-serving. I understand if that's the vibe you get from this, but I want to be clear that I was a fan of the medium for a long time before I took the plunge and joined in myself. I will always be a fan first and a VTuber second. So it is as a fellow fan of the genre that I care to see it all grow and reach new heights. Look, I stream to like four people and my videos see low three digit views if I'm lucky. I'm not exactly the one riding the high of the VTuber wave over here. So let me tell you a bit about what I'll be bringing up in this video. I want to be very clear that this is not a history lesson on VTubers, nor is it a technical explanation of how they work or what it takes to become one. Those topics are well explained in lots of places. In fact, I believe that the reason that there are still so many people after this long that are still unaware of VTubers and who find it challenging to jump into the community is partially that people who really like VTubers really like explaining the technical elements at play. So I will not be doing that. Instead, I want to focus elsewhere. I want to focus on what I'm going to call the human element. See, VTubers are not AI. Would you like to hear Well, except for that one exception. Call two birds in love. Tweet hearts. Yeah, don't People mind her. Really like that one. Every VTuber is a real person who wants to create content on the internet. The avatar that is used in place of a regular webcam offers a sort of shield or veil against the worst parts of the internet. But even if the person in question is playing a character or really hiding themselves deep behind a wall of kayfabe, real parts of themselves still shine through and their personal stories of triumph and troubles can still take the center stage. See, this is what I mean by the human element. Even though VTubers, myself included, have chosen to shield ourselves from the worst parts of the online spaces we reside in, there is still a real person with real stories in there. Remember Iron Mouse? She was one of the first people to adopt the, at the time, brand new tech in the English-speaking world. She became as much an icon of the industry and medium as anyone could ever hope to have any claim to be. And yet, her story might be the most human of them all. I want to put out a quick apology before this section. I'm, I'm not a biographer or anything, and I don't know Iron Mouse personally. Mousy, on the off chance this ever makes it to you, God forbid, I'm sorry for condensing, badly explaining, or just getting wrong any of the following information, or if any of my editorializing upsets you in any way. All right, let's begin. Iron Mouse is an incredible singer. She was on track to have a wonderful career as an opera singer. She was in classical training when she was struck down by a disease. CVID is an autoimmune disorder which very quickly left her bedridden and completely isolated. Cut off from traditional means of human interaction, she felt that she really wanted to connect to the world 
through the only method she had access to, which was the internet. But she was sick. She could barely leave her bed and was bound to oxygen support. She was uncomfortable with the idea of presenting herself to the internet as she was. In the age of social media, it's hard enough to present yourself to the world when you're confident. It was around this time that she discovered the first VTubers in Japan, Kizuna Ai and her contemporaries. Mouse quickly had a model created and began streaming using it, becoming one of the first handful of English speakers to do so. Now, if you're able-bodied like me, it may be hard to really understand how bad all of this could have been for Mouse. See, there's a whole genre that exists, a subgenre of horror called body horror. And this exists because we have a natural need to be in charge of our bodies. It's the only one we get. We have a need to have autonomy over ourselves, at least over our physical selves for sure. Having what we are altered, changed, or damaged to a significant degree sets off those anxiety alarms inside of us. And as such, it makes for great horror. Think the Borg from Star Trek, or uh, that person that was still alive and attached to the machine in Soma. Yeah, that. Um, the fact that Iron Mouse still found ways to reach out and connect instead of succumbing to depression is testament to a mental fortitude I'm not sure I could claim to possess. Iron Mouse has referred to her VTuber model as a superhero suit in the style of Superman. Nothing about her changes when she puts it on, so to speak, but instead it gives her a buffer from the realities and messiness of her life and lets her face the world bold, confident, and the way she sees herself. Even as her sickness continues to weaken and challenge her, she could talk with people and show herself to the world as strong and capable. Those of us who support her have gotten to see a real human through one of the most harrowing kinds of experiences and have helped her come out on the other side even stronger. See, it's an odd quirk of medical fact that one's outlook and mental state can have a powerful effect on the realities of one's healing process. In the years she has been on Twitch, Mouse's strength has waxed and waned, but has overall been on an incredible upswing. In the early days, she seemed to truly believe she would never sing again. With her fans supporting her, she not only performed opera for thousands of people live, but has found the strength to become a founding member of one of the biggest VTuber companies out there and to be a pillar of a massive multinational fan base, community, and industry. Stories like these pop up all over the VTubing ecosystem, and through it all, there are a few through lines that keep coming up. Specifically, that VTubing offers a way for people to whack a giant reset button on their lives, to try to be something or someone new, whether that's just a way to talk to the world without showing your face or a chance to play an entirely unique character to dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of fans. More than anything else, it augments the real human being underneath instead of replacing them. Thank you for watching this video. This is the first of what I hope will be a series of short videos that I will be calling The Human Element. I hope to shine a light on a lot of these kinds of stories that exist all over the VTubing world. Human stories, stories of loss and hardship, where having the ability to set it all aside and produce content as a VTuber helped bring out a happy ending. If you like that idea, please like this video and hit the subscribe button. I don't like saying those things, but really, they help. The channel is very small right now, but I truly believe that these stories deserve to be shared so people might see why it is that we all love this medium so much. I'm Tannis Fugit. Thanks for being here. <laughs>